Hey there, my name is Provis and welcome back to more FTL in the multiverse with our multiverse cruiser. We're moving on to the next sector. I've got a little bit more firepower and a lot more defense. We have hacking. If I could just get my hands on cloaking, I feel like we'd be pretty good. There is an exclamation point next to Federation space over here. I don't know if that means something good, but it sounds good. Well, I got an achievement just getting started and we unlocked cruiser slot A. Oh, good. I actually, I actually have a new ship. Well, that's fantastic. Let's proceed to the next sector. What do we find? One of the few Federation sectors remaining in this reality besides the capital itself. Alrighty, we've arrived in Federation space. Fleet delayed by two jumps. That seems great. Do we request support, attack the guard, or ignore the guard? I'm not going to attack my own guard. Of course not. We're going to request some support. Would you please give me a few repairs? Thank you. Hey, freebies. I take it. A rebel store in Federation space. <laughs> that doesn't make a lot of sense. There's an outpost over here. Don't know exactly what that's going to do for me. So if you want to get to the store, this is kind of my only opportunity to do it because if we go up this direction, we're not going to see it. Now, I have enough scrap that we could buy cloaking. So I'm kind of tempted to say we should go here and just hope that it has cloaking. <sighs> Alright, let's try it. Let's just see. If they got cloaking, this changes the game. I need cloaking, 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 cloaking. Alright, a military escort is still a few beacons behind, scattered by pirates. Truth be told, I think this war is silly. I'm willing to trade, but we have to be quick. Alright, sounds good. Oh no, a rebel ship jumps in! It's their escort! The transport pretends not to be involved and accuses you of attacking them, so the escort attack. You jerk! You insufferable fool! Fine, I'm gonna get some extra hacking power. We don't even need this med bay. More evasion, I'm at the 30% chance now. That's pretty good. You got some big scary guns, but I'm pretty sure we can charge faster than you, and if I can knock out those shields, well, what are you gonna do about it? Nothing! You're gonna die! That's what you're gonna do. Let's go ahead and hack this down. Followed by a couple of quick hits to the weapon system, preferably to knock these out. He still managed to get his shot, that sucks. Let's see if we can do some damage to... Wow, that's a lot of misses. All right, I was going to say, let's do some damage to the uh, shield system here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and send both of you to go deal with the oxygen. Let's get that back under control. Should have used my particle beam, but we're okay at the moment. Let's send a bit more power to hit the weapons kind of aggressively. And then particle beam on. We can't quite hit the oxygen and everything else I want. But we can hit several rooms if we do this. So this is what we're going to try for. Okay, didn't quite knock out the clone bay, but we have a fire set. That's pretty helpful, at least. All right, I'm going to go ahead and try to use the crystal uh, beam to hit the shields. That knocks down at least one more bar. All right, now we're going to try to hit the oxygen. I'm wary about taking out too much of his health, but at the moment, we're okay. Still some shields that we got to deal with, but I have a hacking module. Let's go ahead and knock that out. Followed by a particle beam on... Let's see if we can hit the engines, plus the weapons and everything else. Also, this clone bay, so that when people die... They stay dead. There we go. All right, so there's a lot of fire going on here. Lots of fire, and you guys got no idea what to do about it. We're just going to have to try to kill him, I think. I don't want to take the risk of um, that missile going off. 34 scrap. It's something, but not great. And the store has gone straight up. Okay, I kind of assumed that once we killed the escort, we'd be able to actually do something with that store anyway, but appears that that is not the case. So this is a total waste of a trip, then, is what you're telling me? All right, fine. Let's go look for some more combat. I'm looking to kill some people. There we go, see? Rebels have taken over the ship, this Federation ship, okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do at least a little bit of repairs. We can pull back on the engines, for example. Uh, you have no drones or anything. You have some missiles, it looks like, but it doesn't look that bad. We got plenty of drone parts. I really don't mind using some of these. Just go ahead and knock out the shields. It just makes my life a smidge easier, you know what I mean? It just makes my life a little bit easier. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna wait a second. And now let's go ahead and knock that out. He's gonna fire the missile off anyway. Ow! That was gonna happen, though. It's kind of not a good way around that. All right, let's take out these weapons. Wow, what a whiff and a half. All right, hit the weapons with the crystal. We're gonna try to knock out some weapons. Failed on that front completely. Uh, let's see if we can hit... Piloting as well as oxygen and weapons. Or actually, that was an artillery gun, I just realized. That's not piloting at all. Oh, that's way scarier. All right, I don't know what this thing was about to shoot at me, but... Can't allow that. Try to take out those weapons. No more missiles, please. They're setting all sorts of fires. Let's go ahead and put those out. You guys can get back to your original posts, please. He's got no shield, which means now we can start setting more fires and knock this stuff out. Let's go for... Can I hit three rooms here? Yes. Let's go ahead and knock these all out. That's a lot of fires. There we go. 
That's my boy. We can kill these three people, I think. There we go. He's got no more holes, so we really need the fire to do the rest of the job. But there's no oxygen. They can't get to their weapon system. They're not going to be able to free up the shields. Yeah, these guys are toasted. And I mean that literally. They're very toasty. Ah, but the fire's actually killed him instead. Boo. All right, 23 scrap. We're up to 200, which means I could go for the next bar of shields. But I also really want to find a store. Like, so badly dost I coveteth a store. Let's go this direction and see what we can get. Let's not forget that we can also do more internal upgrades to the ship. Uh, sell a load of missiles. Oh, heck yes. That was great. We actually got 105. I didn't know that the scrap recovery arm increases how much you get from sales. Well, that's exciting. Okay. Um, yeah, I think we go ahead and get the extra bars here for the shields. Plus, we can just go ahead and do this. All right, let's go ahead and get maxed out shields. We're level four now. That's pretty good. Still no sign of any stores or anything, but, you know, maybe we'll get enough scrap. If we can get cloaking later, that would be fan flip fantastic. We find a rebel sh ship. Great. Do I want more repairs? Answer, yes, a little bit. A couple more hull points would be nice. He has some drones. All right. Uh, not a fan of that. You, I assume, can fire two shots, plus you have a beam weapon. What is this? Combat drone attacks my ship. This one, combat ship. So, when the stars align, you'll be able to take out all four bars of my shields, but not anytime soon. Eh, one quick shot to kill you. There we go. All right, 58. Perfect. That's more what we're looking for. Still no sign of another shop. Um, I guess we'll go up this direction. Come on, cloaking, man. Cloaking would be great. Federation Automated Supply Drone nearby is on the fritz. Okay, uh, we can have our NG crew fix it, which we will do, and we get some repairs and 20 more scrap. That was nice. See, those kind of little random events are pretty good. This is where going to a peaceful sector can be nice. I still think we can get more from combat, but overall it's not bad. Another rebel ship? Man, this is not a very well-controlled Federation sector. Let's go ahead and intervene once again. I don't know who you are, but no one defies. You kidding me? I defy all the time. I defy everything. I defy my parents. Just ask. They don't like it. Ah, I forgot to switch these weapons around, but that's probably fine. Um, your weapons... You have a bomb of some sort, which I don't think I like. Still, I think we go ahead and commit to taking out the shields. Get ready to knock that out. Let's go boom. And then before you have a... Ch you're going to fire off no matter what. Um, let's go ahead and double down on hitting the shields. Follow that up with the drones. So he can't do as many repairs. Or at least this drone is down. So his bombs are a threat, but otherwise he can't really get through me right now, which is pretty good. Then we go ahead and try to knock out the shields. Perfect. And we go for the particle beam. And we hit all of this. Bye, buddy. Oh, look at all those fires. Four rooms with fires. You're so screwed. And the funny thing is they're all trapped inside the shield room, too. So whenever the fire spreads in here, they literally can't get out. I mean, they're trying, but it ain't it ain't going to do them a whole lot of good. Oh, this is sad. All right, let's just go ahead and take one more shot. That should kill them outright. Perfect. 54 more scrap for me. Excellent. And 43. Hey, hey. They thought they would get service just because they defeated the Federation. They haven't yet, though. I guess you guys haven't heard. I am the hero multiverse ship that is here to save the day. I haven't defeated anybody, and not while well, not on my watch. Large Federation hangar has been built on a nearby planet. We're allowed to dock. All right, we get some repairs and some fuel. Also, as we exit, we find out that there is an elite ship on the way with three shield bars. All righty. Um, I don't need any repairs, so for once, I can say let's do nothing and just go for some extra evasion chance. Well, that feels pretty good. Let's see. I'm not going to be able to make much use out of my drones unless we somehow accidentally shoot this. That's going to be a matter of luck, though. You have, it looks like a couple of, I assume these are burst lasers Mark II, which means you definitely can get through my shields, which means this beam is a little on the dangerous side. Uh, I want to kind of focus fire everything I got on these weapons. He's going to get one shot off. Here come six volleys. Okay, our evasions kind of worked there, so we're in a good spot. Let's go ahead and fire everything we got toward weapons. Followed by at least a couple toward his shields. And then let's go ahead and set some fires with engines, shields, oxygen, and so on. Our usual lineup. A couple of fires at least will do the job and certainly distracts them for a good long while. Not enough to take out these weapons. I'm shocked. Oh, he's got another weapon. Oh. Okay. Well, there goes my O2 again. We can fix that, though. Uh, I'm going to fire anything I got here. Okay. We did not get very far, unfortunately. Um, Crystal will pierce through the initial shield so we can get out the burst laser. So that leaves me with a beam that's no threat and a bomb which might be a threat, but at the same time also totally might not. Should be able to kill him. There we go. Ooh, pierce laser mark two. Big scary gun. 
Okay, hang on. We kind of wanted some big scary guns. What is this one going to be good for? Three power required. That's a lot, but it fires four shots. Okay, pierces one level of shields. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Pretty decent breach chance on this. Um, I mean, in terms of raw power, uh, let's think about this for a second. You can only ever have eight bars of weapons. If we got rid of one burst and got a maximum uh, set of power for our weapons, we could fit this onto our roster. It does take 17 seconds to charge, not that much longer than a crystal burst, so we could do these two as a volley, followed immediately by a particle beam. So basically it would mean that we're kind of sitting ducks for the first, like, 15 plus seconds of combat, but then we unleash absolute hell, and with four shots, this thing alone can get through a full bunch of shields. Um, we're gonna hold on to it, for sure. I mean, it could work. Uh, I don't know if it's the godsend we're looking for, but it's not bad. All right, we got a couple of stores we can hit up now. That feels great. Um, do I want to go to the fed store here and then head toward the outpost, or do I want to go over here? Let's start this direction, and if we find out it doesn't have what we want, maybe we can turn around, head toward the exit, and get another store. Or something, I don't know. I'm really hoping for a cloak or something amazing. Uh, let's see. We're a Federation ship. Give us stuff. I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna be mean. Let's go ahead and open it up. See a warm welcome. Uh, okay. Do something on board the ship. Hey, we haven't actually done a salvage mission yet. Say 24 more scrap. That's pretty good. Cloaking! Alright, that's what we were looking for. We're now set. We're good to go. All is well with the world. Dr. Drone. Fascinating. Some more defense drones, blah, blah, blah. Crew teleporter, drone control. I mean, as much as it would be fun to have drones, it's gonna take too much reactor power at this point for me to justify this, so I'm gonna say probably no. Uh, what we wanna do now is go to the ship and definitely get more power bars uh, if we can. Now, let me think. I can get one... <sighs> Getting this weapon to work is actually gonna be kinda tough. Let me think about this for a second. So, one power bar at least gets me my cloaking up and running. So we'll start with that, turn this on. I would need to get two more power bars in the weapons for this to work. Which we can do. That leaves three left, which I can push toward. Maybe one more toward cloaking, and then two more toward engines? That might be what we end up going for. This is going to be expensive, is the only problem. Um, in the meantime, we can definitely go ahead and get at least an extra power bar here. And the thing is, with cloaking, if we can start the fight with 10 seconds of invincibility while I charge my weapons, that just makes it easier for me to get that first crucial volley up. By the way, wait, what? This is, seems like a bug. 9,999 scrap in order to get cloaking up to level 3. But it can go up to level 5. I wonder if this is one of those onboard upgrade things. It might be. Well, regardless, let's go ahead and buy that and just go for the extra cloak. I do think this is going to be a pretty serious setup. Yeah, I'd like to have more engine evasion chance and such, but I mean, this in a, in a pinch is kind of huge. Uh, let's go to the outpost. I kind of want to know what's going on over there. Um, we have one, two, three, four jumps. One, two... I think... I think we need to just go for this immediately. I might be off by one jump, but I can never really remember for sure how it's going to work. Uh, another Federation outpost. Contact them. I'm not going to attack my own outpost. Ridiculous. Uh, fuel, ammunition, or drone parts? Mm, uh, drone parts, I guess. We'll get three more. I don't know. It, it could be useful for some extra hacks, but that was kind of useless, if I'm being honest. Uh, yeah, we actually could have done one more jump, I think. We should have gone up here first. Oh, well. Let's go over here and see what's happening. I wish I had a little bit more scrap. Maybe I could have done some... Um, onboard upgrades. Let's see, we arrive near a small fleet of Federation NG ships. A simple description and translation of their comm frequency tells you they're having frantic discussions about something trans uh, troubling them. Let's go for a contact. Our goals have analogous elements, however not all is available for disclosure. Discretion is necessary. I offer my help, and there is a quest marker in this next sector. However, a Mantis ship potentially stopped by a second base on travel would calculate probability. So there's two different quests, I'm guessing. Cannot risk obvious rebel NG conflict. Also need time to acquire military ships. Assist in finding technology. So it sounds like we have two different quests. Alright, that's kind of exciting. Uh, let's go over to the exit. We really should have done one more jump. I missed out on an opportunity here. We've arrived. Let us do an explore. And a critically damaged civilian carry ship is nearby. Alright, we will dock and try to save them. We get a Zoltan. Hey, more free crew members. What do I do with you? Great question. Uh, Let me see. Is anyone in their current position not already good at the job? These guys are already experts. I think I have you sit in the cloaking, actually. Which is going to free up one power bar in a place that I'm kind of always going to want it. 
Yeah. And we keep everyone else in position. We need to find a name for you. Hang on. Your name is going to be Drake, the Dragon Prince. Okay. So this has been a very, very profitable sector for me up to this point. Got lots of scrap, got the all-important cloaking. Now we can move on to either the Orchid Garden Worlds, or we can go to the Central Shipyards. Well, they both have exclamation points, which I assume means quests. Um, I'm going to go to the Central Shipyards, because I think combat is in order. And hopefully we get a lot of extra scrap coming out of that. And also, who knows? Maybe this is going to be a way for us to uh, learn how to unlock a new ship type or something. Very high from the auto fleet. Okay. Locations of interest. The central power core. No idea how that's going to work. We can try to deactivate this drone or we can fight it. You got three weapons. No cloak. Three bars of shields. We can fight this. Of course, there's a very good chance that we're going to have some problems as far as you know. Some external fire, but all right. Repair bots! Give me a little bit of hole. We're back up to full health. And sure enough, they have immediately launched. Okay. Um, we are going to probably hold on to the cloak for a minute. We don't need this second. We're okay. Let's launch the drone to get his shields down. And I'm going to go ahead and fire that off in just a second. Let's see. His weapons are still charging. The thing is, I don't want to get hit by this beam weapon if we can avoid it. That's what we may need to save the cloak for. The beam he fired off early, and here comes the ASB targeting. We need to go ahead and fire this all off immediately. Uh, weapons. Piloting. Weapons again. And once the shields are down, which is now, we hit engines as well as shields so we can't dodge. And then we cloak. Okay. So he's going to miss with his orbital shot. This gives me a second to go for a second volley. In the meantime, a lot of stuff is damaged. He only has a beam weapon, which, lo and behold, can't do a whole lot against me. Now can it? That drone goes down. Let's go ahead and get that fixed. And 62 scrap. All right. By killing the auto guard, we have caused some people to get upset. So do we try to go for an internal uh, upgrade? We could also go for the uh, lab here. You can install the lab for free with a level 2 med bay. Otherwise, you must use additional resources. Um... This is probably cheaper than doing an upgrade for the med bay, but I don't remember for sure. Do we want to just try this? You can install upgrades for your crew at empty beacons. The alternative would be to go for internal upgrades, and we could do stuff like upgrades for the cloak. There it is. Okay, so this is how you'd get up to level 3 cloaking. Ah, okay. Shadow weaponry. Now, what does that do? Is that an augment that would let me actually shoot while cloaked? Because that's kind of useful. Alternatively, shields... Performance upgrades could be nice. Weapons, performance upgrade again. I don't need an ammo fabricator. We're all lasers. Hacking, neural disruptor, FTL jammer. No, med bay. No. Engines, performance, long range jump. Huh. I kind of want to get the shadow weaponry and see if this works. I'm doing it. You're about to install the shadow weaponry upgrade. Firing for the weapons does not disrupt the cloaking duration. Not compatible with cloaking's level 3, 4, and 5. But the thing is, there was a good chance I wasn't going to get cloaking level 3, 4, and 5. So this lets me just shoot willy-nilly. This would require me having extra power bars. This does not. Let me think about this again for a second. We can get a couple more reactor bars. I need to get those into my weapons. Then I have talked about having extra passive defense with my engines. I'm going to do shadow weaponry. Let's do it. Okay, we have an upgrade. Cool. We can do more upgrades? Oh, okay, hang on. Breach sealant, extinguishers, energy shields. Ooh, that could be useful. I don't have enough scrap for that, though. Um, doop, 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 do. Breach sealant. No, I don't need any of that. I don't think I can afford much else, except for maybe some electrical insulation. What does this do? We're immune to stuns while in a shield room. That's useless. This increases FTL charge rate. I don't need that. This shortened shield recharge rate can be installed up to three times. That's really good. And then weapons reduce cooldown by 10%. That's really good. Holy crap. Okay, so we need to get as many shield and weapon upgrades as we can find. That's that's what I'm learning here. This is how we get unbelievably powerful. I like it. Okay, well, there's nothing else I feel like I need to do right now. Unless I want to do the onboard lab. And you know what? I'm going to do it. Let's install the lab just so when I get to the next sector, we have an idea what that does. Maybe it's something exciting. And maybe it's not. We won't know until we try. Moving on. There's a quest. Well, we have to get to that quest. There's actually two quests. We gotta do both. Let's go up that way. I like quests. Quests make me feel important in what I'm doing. 
Scans reveal large asteroid fields. Get some mining done. 67 more scrap, but unfortunately not an opportunity to have an empty beacon where we do something. That's fine though. Quests! Let's go get the quests! Got 78 scrap right now. It's pretty good. Uh, we're startled by the ghost ship. Very out of place in this automated sector. They send you a message. Hi, hello. We need wreck. You have guns. Guns make wreck. We make deal. Okay. New quests. Really? Dude, I am rolling in the quests right now. It's not even funny. All right. How do I... Oh, crap. To get to this quest, we have to go all the way back down here. Ugh. All right. This is going to be a little unpleasant, and we're going to have to start outrunning the uh, fleet in a big way. If I can find anything that delays the fleet, that would actually be great. We arrive at a rebel base, okay? It appears abandoned except for a well-armed ship. Well, that's fine. Uh, activate repair bots. Let's go ahead and get my health back up a smidge. And they are trying to leave. Okay. Well, um, you're charging your weapons. I guess I'll just go ahead and cloak, and that way no one can do anything fun at all. Do I use my hacking drone to try and disable his engines? I think we have to, because otherwise I'm almost positive he's going to launch. How long does your cloak last, dude? My god. Let's go ahead and do this. Hack it immediately. We're trying to prevent these guys from going anywhere for at least a bit until I have a chance to shoot this down. We're going to get shot at with some missiles and stuff, and there's not a lot I can do about it, to be honest. I need to fire everything I've got toward these engines, though. And the cloak. All right, fire, fire. All, all weapons. All weapons. Okay, and then particle beam goes toward, let's say, all of this. Actually, start at the engine room, and then work your way up toward cloaking. We need to stop his cloaking. Okay, his engines are completely down for the moment. That's a good sign. Stop, stop. Why is the Federation so damn ravenous? Don't you have better things to do than hunting down random rebel ships? I want your stolen tech. Ah, so that's what you're after. Too bad. You followed the wrong ship. The envoy that passed through here was a fake trick fools like you. Uh, let them go or ignore them. You know what? No, I attack. No, wait! Should just... I mean... If you don't have what I want, then fine. But at least you've got scrap. I'm taking that. You gonna give me something out of this, dude. That's fine. We don't need to cook him. We got 45 scrap. Cool. And we got nothing out of the debris. So that was a waste. Uh, we gotta go down this direction toward the quest as fast as we can. So we're gonna ignore everything else in the north. What is this? A large generator has been sculpted onto the face of a nearby snow planet. Something is wrong. A battalion of pirate ships flies away, chased off by a distant rebel ship. A warning plays over the intercom. It is recommended that all personnel evacuate power grid 800 immediately. Catastrophic reactor failure is imminent. Estimated 10 minutes remaining until collapse. There's time left to try to salvage or run away. What is this? It's the engineer mothership. I want it. Ooh, there's time left. We're gonna swing in. Damn pirates, we told you to get the hell out of here. Okay, so we can't help but notice the reactor countdown is still going. You figure the engineers must know it as well. Is this a practice mothership fight? You get ready for combat. Uh, we'll go ahead and do a small amount of repairs because we might as well. We're gonna go ahead and launch my cloak immediately. That's exactly what he did too. So we're gonna have to wait for a second. His cloak, fortunately, is very slow. We'll use the hacking module in a minute. I got some time to just charge my weapons up. We gotta take this out fast. Oh, he hacked me. He hacked my weapons. Of course he did. All right, well, let's go ahead and try to knock out his shields. Um, we gotta wait until this recharges. It's gonna take a second. So the thing is, time is the one thing I don't have on this. You gotta, your cloak is charging up really fast. I'll give you credit where it's due. I can't even charge my weapons. I can't get a single volley off. I think we made a mistake. Cloak. Hack. Let's go ahead and burn this down. We're going to knock out his own hacking as well. Uh, let's also try to vent this out into space. Okay, wait a second. Fire. Oh, God! He freaking hacked my weapons again! I can't do anything. we got to get out of here. This is a terrible fight. We can't win this. Run, 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 run. I mean, we can win it, but we're not going to. Run! We're taking damage. We're going to gain nothing out of that. I don't know how long that countdown is going to last. I simply know that there was no way we could have burned him down if he's going to keep cloaking and hacking that quickly. All right, Rebel Engineer. It's a bit unconventional, but we're needed drone parts. I would happily take some scrap, so let's do that. And let's deal with the fact that we're kind of, you know, on fire. Okay, we're all healed up. Everyone go back to your posts, and we will be completely fine. Okay, so moving on to the next area, heading toward that quest. There is an asteroid field detected in this location. Just going to have to accept that risk at the moment. We have Cloak for a reason, and for some reason, cloaking works against asteroids, which has never made a lot of sense. Salvager doesn't notice me. We're going to go ahead and attack the ship. And I guess I might as well do a small amount of repairs. Why not? Uh, let's go ahead and cloak immediately. I don't really see any reason to let him have a weapons charge where I can just do it myself. 
Um, should be dodging just fine. I assume we can launch the hack even without the cloak on, but I could be wrong on that. Let's go ahead and start that hack, get those shields down. Your weapons don't look very scary to me, but I still want to knock some of those out. I'd also like to knock out things like your piloting so you can't dodge me. Let's go ahead and try to knock that out. We're also going to hit the weapons. Okay, that didn't do very much. Um, I'm going to hit the shields and the engines. Just to knock those subsystems down, and there we go. With fires and whatnot, I don't think this guy is going to be able to do much. He certainly won't be able to run, and his dodge chance is greatly reduced. Uh, he is technically able to actually hurt me. Ow! Okay, easy enough. Took only a tiny bit of damage out of that. 48 scrap, continue to the platform, and we get some fuel. All right. Not a bad arrangement. 218 scrap now. Uh, do we want to go ahead and spend some of it now? I can't do anything while we're in a dangerous sector, so never mind. It's kind of taken away from me. Let's go ahead and move toward the quest beacon. So we can fill this one at least. There we go. And there's an auto ship. Okay. So maybe it was once again a trap. I'm guessing it was a trap. Somebody call Admiral Akbar because I'm getting trapped all the time here. And it's really annoying. Uh, okay. So let's go ahead and launch this immediately. You have no defensive drones, which is good. I'm going to go ahead and hack. Sorry, cloak. Um, I need to temporarily dis kind of distract you and let them fight for a second until the mind control starts to wear off. Now you can head back over here. I don't think he'll destroy this in time. Let's go ahead and I think begin the hack now. We need to knock out that mind control for sure. What did you hack, by the way? You hacked my shields. I can't let you do that, but I also really need to knock out things like his weapons. He's got a lot of guns. Yeah. Oh my god, what an absolute whiff. So little got hit there. So little. Alright, keep hitting the uh, the weapons and stuff. Fire won't do much because there's no oxygen, but at least we can knock out some of those. There we go. Just didn't want to time it where he hacks my shields at the wrong moment, and all of a sudden we just regret life. There we go. That takes out a bunch more. Weapons are completely out, and we should be golden at this point. There we go. There we go. That was easy. Alright. I don't even think we took a scratch out of that. You have done as the ghosts asked and reduced the auto ship to a wreck. Now what? We wait for the ghosts. Yes, good, this is what we want. They expect it thoroughly, and they give me a crew member who's really good at dealing with combat. Okay, Mikhail. Uh, question, you're a yellow Zoltan. What are you good at? He's a wraith. Oh, a powerful electrifying vagabond ghost, not to be confused with the actual paranormal. He has a special occasional ability. He ions the current system by two bars and stuns all crew. Oh, so I need to keep you out of any rooms with subsystems, or you might accidentally knock out my own system? And he's also immune to a lot of things. He has extra speed health, and he's really good at sabotage. Fascinating. Um, I'm going to put you up over here, I guess. So yeah, he ioned my system, I think. Huh. Well, that's going to get irritating very quick. So what else do I want to invest in here? We talked about doing some engines, but I also really need to get my power back up. We can get the last two bars here. That takes kind of all of my scrap. I'm going to do one upgrade. But uh, I'm only saving some scrap in case we get to an empty beacon and maybe we have an opportunity to... Uh... Can we get down here? Oh, we can't get to the exit. We can't do it. Boo! Um, maybe we have an opportunity to get to an empty beacon and then uh, do some upgrades, make my weapon speed go up a little bit. If I thought this would have a chance at slowing down the enemy fleet, I would do this, but I don't see that being a thing. Anti-ship batteries, no. So let's see, we got a few jumps. We can we can head here and kind of work our way this way toward the exit, but I can't do the last quest. That sucks. I hate passing up those opportunities. An advanced rebel automated ship remains stationed near a small rebel space station. Do we want to cloak and access the cache or fight it? I think I want to fight it. Now, they have a cloak of their own, which is obviously irritating. But we're prepared to fight. So we quick repair, we're at full health. He's going to cloak. That's fine. I will cloak too. See? Two can play at that game. What you gonna do? Nothing. Not a dang thing. I'm just gonna let my weapons charge up for a minute. And then we're gonna launch this hacking drone. You got some pretty big doors on you, buddy. This appears to be one of those energy drones, which uh, does damage, but also ion damage, which is why it's knocking out a bar of my shields. Which is kind of irritating. Go ahead and hack. It's time to start that process. You got a couple of big beam weapons, I think, but probably not much else. Hmm. Huh. Well, I still want to knock that out, probably. Um, let's go ahead and hit weapons. Hit the cloaking. And hit the shields, I guess. Might as well divert our fire on a lot of things. Plus, we can hit all this with the particle beam weapon. 
which knocks out a few of this, so we're left with just a really big, scary-looking laser, which can't do anything to me. All right, so we're immune here, as long as he can't run away, and no cloak just means it's gonna be that much easier to deal with you. About as easy as it gets, frankly. Took no damage at all. I mean, that's a good sign. It says that we're doing pretty good. An Ion Barrage Mark II. Okay, interesting. What is this gun gonna do for me? Fires off one shot per charge, only takes five seconds to charge. Hmm. Yeah, no, I, I think I pass on that one right there. Uh, any stores or anything? No, not yet. Do we go for an upgrade now? We could get the weapon upgrade right now. This just means I don't... Ah, that's fine. We're not going to a sector that has an empty beacon. We already know that. Let's go ahead and do the upgrade. And then we're going to swap out the weapon. So now we have a Pierce Mark II, which means I have two weapons that I need to sell. So this is a pretty weak weapon, and if I can get rid of this for something worth only one power, that's better. I'd happily do it. But in the meantime, this is kind of the maximum amount of power I can work with. So it's going to have to be good enough. All right, that should be a pretty big increase in firepower. Let's take a look at what's going on over here. Find someone else we can beat on for fun. Damage Engineering Vessel orbits the Vikan. Um, Okay, we can hail them. Uh, you aren't here to kill us, are you? You shake your head. Oh, good. In that case, maybe you can help us. We had an issue with the prototype cognitive we were working on. After the free roamer incident, the Rebellion banned all attempts at creating fully sentient ships. Uh, we broke that rule, and it was a terrible mistake. Now the auto ship has escaped. You don't suppose you can track it down and destroy it? We can't let Command know about the slip-up. Oh, good, another quest in the next sector. Well, that's fun, at least. Hey, a store. Uh, let's go over this direction. See if we can get a little bit more scrap. Do anything exciting here. There's another automated ship. All right, it's a manufa uh, ammunition manufacturing plant. We're going to attack the ship because, of course, we are. And I could do repairs, but I don't need it, so forget it. And you cloaked. Well, that's fine. I'll cloak, too. There, see? Two can play that game. It's really easy. Really easy to deal with. Let's get ready to knock out those shields with the hacking. I mean, this is a pretty strong setup we've got going over here. It's going pretty well. Let's go ahead and knock this thing out. Here comes a whole bunch of weapons ready to go. Let's go ahead and begin the hack now. We are going to burst laser your piloting. Crystal your piloting as well. I want to make sure there's no dodge chance on this. Then we're going to hit your shields with the four bursts, and then we're going to hit your drones and your weapons so that you can't get through my shields. Okay, so that was pretty decent. Cloaked again. You got a really fast charging cloak, dude. How do I get one of those? I want a fast charging cloak. Fast charging cloak sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, this Pierce 2 seems to do pretty well, and breaches are fantastic, because kind of like fires, your enemies have to deal with those first and foremost, which just makes your life a lot easier, so... I want that. Take out the cloak, take out the engines, take out the shields, blah, blah, blah. That set some fires, doesn't matter. He's got nothing left. Okay, and we'll just go ahead and cloak because why not? Burst you, burst you, burst you, and you're dead. Okay, easy fight. We're taking fights with no damage. Good sign. 58 scrap, I love it. Now that the patrol ship has been taken out, the automated factory has sounded an alarm. We have time to grab one thing, ammunition or weapons. I'm going to grab a weapon. We get a mine launcher. I didn't actually want a weapon, but I figure if I'm going to a store anyway, we might as well just get over here and sell it. There's only one other ship at this beacon showing minor damage. They had a run-in with pirates and are selling off equipments. These guys are great tart. No. See what they're selling. Okay, now we can finally do something on board the ship. We are going to install an internal upgrade. Do I upgrade shields or weapons? I think we go for a performance upgrade on the weapons. 10% reduction in cooldown is huge. Yeah, I like that. I like that idea a lot. Man, I'd love to do even more. If I had just a smidge more scrap, we could actually do more upgrades. FTL jammer, no. Cloaking, can't do that. Med bay, don't need. Medical stimulants, nah. Engines, we do performance upgrade here, but that's only for the FTL charge rate, which I don't care about. That's good if we're running away a lot. Okay. Well, we're not going to do anything here. Um, can we perform a task? Y yeah, actually. We kind of forgot we could do this. Um, there's a risk. Mm, no. I'm not taking any risks. I'm happy with the crew that I've got at the moment. So let's go ahead and sell some junk. 30 scrap there, 30 scrap there, 25 scrap there. All right. You have some bigger guns. Anything worth only one power? Answer, yeah. A chain burst laser. Nah, we don't care about that. More beams? No, don't need those either. Backup batteries, drone control, blah, 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 free amp energy. Mm, yeah, but I don't have the power to justify that. Uh, a backup battery is not a bad idea. What else you got? Emergency generator? That's only good if I have combat augments, which I don't. A shield jammer? 
Reduces their shield system by two bars. Uses two power and one fuel. That's only good if I had extra generator, which I'm not going to by the time that I'm done. Though I will say being able to knock out one shield bar is kind of good. We could do this and the backup battery. There's a thought. Yeah, I'm going to try it. Let's see if it works. It might be great. It could also be terrible, but we're going to try it. What this might do is allow me to use this backup battery to... Uh, we'll spend two bars to knock out an enemy shield, and then whenever we want to use a cloak or something, we use the backup battery so I can get up to maximum power. Maybe. Let's explore the area. It looks like a military vessel. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get a reactor upgrade for, like, a very free. Okay. And there it is. All right. Unfortunately, if we'd already been maxed out on my reactor, I'm pretty sure I would have gotten a free bar, and that would have been huge for me right now, but we did not. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, I feel pretty decent about this. And then, as far as other upgrades, eh, we can hold off on some of those. So we got one sector left to go here before we get to the final uh, fight. Free Mantis and Liberated Sectors. This is my last chance to go for some upgrades, but I feel really good about my current setup. I think we got a shot, guys. We're going to go for it. Thank you all very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, then I would humbly ask that you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.